Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm entertaining upstairs and I ran out of coffee. Well, it just happens I've got a pot brewing right now. Why don't you come in and have some? Thank you. I hope Tester's Choice will do. Tester's Choice? Mmm, so smooth. Is it hot enough for you? Hot and creamy. Just the way I like it. Can I have another cup? <laughs> you said that three cups ago. Oh my gosh. I forgot about my guests. They'll be wondering where I've been. Well, don't you want another cup? No, I really have to go. Thank you. I brought some coffee. Not now. We're having company. Oh, I see. You just drop by and drink my coffee and then toss me aside like so many used grounds? You've got responsibilities, Dan. What are you talking about? You, me, my apartment? Or were you just some neighbor stopping by to borrow coffee? Exactly. I won't be ignored! Maybe you should try the decaf. Excuse me. <laughs> Just some crazy. <laughs> okay. Coffee so good, it can't be ignored. Good morning, honey. It will be as soon as I have some tester's choice. Did I hear someone say tester's choice? <laughs> Tester's Choice, the taste that just won't go away. On a drink, glide with the guide on a funky scene. Here comes another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laugh, for talent to bros and sisters with twisters. For you, the looking listener, it seems you don't believe, so you believe, but I can bitch you. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy. With jokes and folks and folks to keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill, this show got soul. All aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle, you better snuggle up a couple of all the double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl, tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living in living color. Our guest celebrities this week are two of America's favorite stars, Tom and Tom, the Brothers Brothers. Yeah! Well, welcome to the show, guys. It's great to be here, Dick. Hi, Mommy. I understand you two are sponsoring a big golf tournament this weekend. That's right. It's called the Very Vanilla Velveeta VA Classic. In Vegas and Vermont. That va boom <laughs> You know how to play the game. You have 30 seconds to guess all six answers. Tom, Mark... Pick a category. Alrighty. I think we're gonna go with turn on. Turn on it is. This category is famous celebrities associated with the 60s. Ready? Go. Okay, a famous black man persecuted for his beliefs. Ben Vereen. Okay. He was an inspirational speaker. Uh, Nancy Russell. Uh, his name had a letter in it. Um, um, JJ. Uh, BB and CC. LL. Um, uh, the Bee Gees. Pass. Next one, please. Okay, you'll love this. Um, 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 he, he was a godfather of soul. Wayne Newton. Uh, <laughs> the hardest working man in show business. Um, Pat Boone. Darker. Uh, Byron Allen. <laughs> oh, come on, he's a dancing 
machine. Next. Okay. Very famous 60s figure uh, associated with the Panthers. Um, Marlon Perkins? No, when you cut in something, you use a... Air freshener. No, no. Uh, no. Uh, meat... Uh, cleaver. Cleaver. More specific. Uh, Wally Cleaver. <laughs> Next. Okay. Woman from the 60s. Very famous big hairdo. Her initials are A.D. Um... And B. Davis, the maid on the pretty much? No! This woman was a militant protester. Gosh, I know that. I saw the episode where she poured the noodles on Greg's head. Okay, once again, guys, no correct answers. Okay, Tom, which category are you going to pick? I'm going to go with the way we were. Get him. All right. Your subject is famous historical figures. Ready? Go. Short and bullheaded. Tell us about us. He was anorexic. A lot of bed sheets. Um, um, dot, dot, dot. And uh, welcome to 7 Eleven. You lost me. You lost me. Pass. Next one. Uh, he was a troublemaker. This guy didn't like his seat on the bus. Um, he didn't know he had it so good. Joe Piscopo. He walked all over Alabama for no reason at all. Got hit in his head all the time. He was, he was, um, relative to Don King. Don King Sr. Pass. He was the father of our country, the greatest man who ever lived. George Washington. He was against those stupid programs like, um, affirmative action and, and school lunches. A, a, a politician. Uh, he, he was a, the, 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 on top of everything. Bill Clinton. <laughs> Sorry, Trudy. Wrong answer. The answer was Ronald Reagan. Why don't I get stuck with the dummies? Hey! Once again, the score is nothing, nothing. You know, I just can't take this anymore. I'm getting pissed myself. I'm telling you, Dick, this bull dinky is just getting under my skin. Did you, Tom, Tom, you can't. I'm sorry, my nostril hair is flaring <gasps> at this very moment. That's a bugger. <laughs> Come on now, guys. Are you saying that if you two were working together, the two brothers, you'd do better than this? You're darn tootin'. Well, then, come on. Take the challenge. Come into the winner's circle and go for $100,000. Hey. Oh, you have only 60 seconds to answer all the questions on the board. Let's see if you can do it. Okay. Go. <laughs> Okay, ah, uh, violence, unemployed people, juvenile delinquents. Things you find at a rap concert. <laughs> the John Denver Live album, Cheese Whiz on a Ritz, a white girl. Things you find on the Arsena Hall show. Great. <laughs> Arizona, Alabama, South Africa, a uh, place to go on vacation. <laughs> Welfare, stale wonder bread. We're all out of mayonnaise. Um, um, things to make you mad. Yes. <laughs> Going to work every day, paying your taxes, dinner at Brian Gumble's house. Things that are fun to do. <laughs> Hi, I'm a black guy. Uh, something a robber might say. Yeah, unbelievable. That's a pyramid record. Congratulations, Tom. That you hear me, cause I love it when you hear me. And I'm telling you sincerely that if you kiss me, girl, I'll kiss you back. Cause I really, really, really like you, and I just wanna make it clear. <clears throat> We're gonna keep it fair and square. Kiss me, and I'll kiss you back. Yo, it's not funny. Real cute is what you say to me. I can't make it. I can't take another step. Wendell, you're it, man. You're the last man on Earth. Do you realize what this means? Well, uh, let me check. That means that there is one man for every three billion women left on Earth. And that one man is me. That means that I, Wendell K. Templeton, am finally gonna get busy. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna get busy. All right, it's me. Yes. 
Get off me! Yeah! Hey, everybody! I think I just saw a man headed in this direction! A real man, are you sure? There's certain things a woman could use a strong man for. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ooh. I'm right here, baby. Well, what are you doing tonight? Anything you want me to. Oh, oh. I don't think you want to do it like that, Wendell. Oh, shucks, Vanilla. <laughs> you know, here's my phone number. Why don't you call me? Listen, I just want to get to know you better. Let's just get started right away. Mm -hmm. Could you open this jar? And when you're finished with it, I have a little garbage that needs to be taken out. Oh, no, he won't have time for that. You've got to mow the lawn, and you've got to trim the hedges. Hey, what about my car? My car is made Sex, at least. Oh, I think somebody made Wendy a little mad. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, don't get yourself all in an uproar, honey. Here's a hammer. I need to go build yourself something. <laughs> you want to know what I think? I think you all should. Who cares what you think? You're a man. Just turn around. See some butt. Here, here, Wendell. Here's a paper cup. What's this for? We're starting a sperm bank. <laughs> hey, Wendell. It's showtime. All right, all right, all right. This channel 96 presents Men on Film. Hello, I'm Blaine Edwards. And I'm Antoine Merriweather. And, and welcome, welcome to Men, Men on Film. Film. <laughs> Today, we're going to look at films on video cassette from a male point of view. That's right, and tonight we're brought to you by a brand new sponsor Hungry Men's Dinner. <laughs> now, how do you handle a hungry man? I wrestle him down and take advantage of his weakness. <laughs> First off, my favorite love story of all times is All the President's Men. Now, this is a story about outing in which two male reporters has to investigate the goings-on in the White House. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there was just too much intrigue. But the real hero of this movie is a man they call Deep Throat. See, he was the one that led them to the end of the trail where they find Tricky Dick. 
like they were going to find something else. So anyway, my favorite love story in video is Deliverance. Now, this, this is a film about love and camping. But the movie really doesn't start off until they meet up with them little dirty hillbillies who teach these men about how to rough it in the great outdoors. Mm, just make me want to squeal like a pig. <laughs> My goodness. I also like 48 hours. I'm telling you, what would Nick Nolte handcuff to that cute little chocolate brown Eddie Murphy's? Mm. Two men from different cultures mm -hmm. learning to love one another and depend on each other's full strength. It was like an all-male version of Jungle Fever. I got just two words to describe another 48 hours. Scrumptious. I'm through. <laughs> Which brings us to our next category, mm -hmm. musicals. Now, my favorite musical is Grease. With that young little John Travolta and all the little James Dean lookalikes slicked up in leather and wearing that, um, uh, all that chap stuff trying to act butch, you know. I just, it's just too bad they spoiled that film with that cold fish from down under, um, uh, Olivia Newton Fish John. So, because when I look at John Travolta, let me tell you, child, grease is the word. Oh, you know what? I have a consumer alert for all our viewers. The film Black Stallion is not about Denzel Washington. It's just about some stanky old horse. But I tell you one movie that did live up to its title, that Shaft. Mm, shut your mouth. And I'm talking about Shaft. And I can dig it. And that brings us to our next category, fish stories. First is Little Mermaid. Hated it. Then there's Splash. Hated it. And finally, there's Thelma and Louise. Double, Double hated, hated it. it. I mean, who wants to see two scruffy old white heifers in a stank, dirty convertible screeching and caterwauling? Fuff. You know, I couldn't wait till they drove off that damn cliff. They tay. They tay. Now, listen, if you want some real excitement, mm. I can re recommend some video cassettes in the action film genre. Oh, like you mean, uh, 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 like, like, like Pee Wee's Big Adventures? No, I saw Pee Wee's Adventure. It wasn't that big. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but you know, I particularly enjoyed the action and excitement of the James Bond films. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. I especially like, um, Thunderball and Goldfinger and my favorite, Never Say Never. <laughs> and let's not forget Octopussy. Hey, <laughs> Which brings us to the time in the show when we discuss our two favorite films on video of all times. Now, for me, it's got to be the movie Big, starring Tom Hanks as a man with a low boy inside him. I believe we can all relate to that. <laughs> My favorite film of all time is Psycho. I particularly love the end where Anthony Perkins puts on his mother's dress and he says, this is me, this is who I am, let's take a shower. <laughs> and that old Alfred Hitchcock, his name alone drives me psycho. <laughs> so, for all the fine films on video cassette, let's give it a patented films on video snap. Two snaps and a rewind. Join us next week when we'll be talking about the Dirty Dozen. Isn't that with that old husky, dusky Jim Brown? Mm hmm Is he still throwing people out the window? I don't know. He used to play football. I bet he did. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. from Atlanta who are totally crossed out from their backwards clothing to the Mac Daddy to the Daddy Mac. Off Rough House Columbia Records, please put your hands together for Criss Cross performing their hit single, Jump. <laughs>